baby. Oh, it's a big duel. It's a big day. Welcome Go. back to the comments for the final matchup. Yes, the championship. What we have been waiting for, and this almost an entire um, nine almost months, like a year. Almost an entire year. Ten almost months. Year. We started this journey a year ago. Uh, we stopped for because of some technical difficulties. For some fun things. <laughs> we stopped for some fun. For some. For some. Festivities. Know, for some. Yeah, for some activities and festivities okay. and you know engagements. And gotcha, stuff. I gotcha. Yeah. Um, but we're back. We, we we the bracket, the duel. There's two people left. We've narrowed it down from 16. From 16. Let's remind everyone what we started with. We started with Babe Ruth, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Tom Brady, Wayne Gretzky, Tiger Woods, Usain Bolt, Mike Tyson, Serena Williams, Roger Federer, and a missing one. Michael Phelps. And Michael Phelps. Like, we started off from 16 of the best, and we're down to two. Two of the best. The competitors of all right. time, and they will be two of the best competitors of all time. Oh, easily. So, this is Matt. Do you want to announce our matchup today? I will announce one. You can announce the other. All right. Sounds good. Just flip up a coin. Who's in the matchup? Usain Bolt is in the mat. It's in the final duel of the gauntlet. Let me flip the other coin. Oh. Michael Jordan. Oh. The, the final duel is Usain Bolt. Greatest runner. One of the, I mean, arguably the greatest Olympian of all time versus Michael Jordan. The greatest basketball player. The greatest player. basketball player of all time. Also a great Olympian, though, as well. True. Honestly. That's true. You know? But, basically two of the best at what they do. Exactly. And, uh, should we just get right into it? I think we should get right into it. All right. I am going with Michael Jordan. I don't know who I'm going to take yet. Let me just think. I had all day to think about it. I was thinking about it on my walking around, you know, just, just walk, 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 walk your, leaves in the trees. Cruising. Cruising. On my cruising, and I was just thinking, who am I going to take? And at the end of the day, what did you come up with? At the what end you, of the day, I think I really want to know what this came out. This is close because I respect. Listen, I got a ton of respect for Usain Bolt. I do too. I have a ton of respect for him because how he is not? because how can you not? But he's in a league of his own. Also, a great movie. Great. Movie. But um. Sorry. There's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in running. There's also no crying unless you win the gold, of course. Yes. Um, and if you get pelted. You know what? I think I'm just gonna. This is really tough, but I'm gonna pull the trigger. Most dominant sports competitor of all time. I think I just have to go with Michael Jordan. I think I'm I was. Go I was gonna go with Usain for a second there, but when I think about it, Michael Jordan has Dude. never lost in the finals, and that's like, that is crazy. He is, he is really, like, you, there's no losing. You cannot put, lo like, obviously he's like, lost games, yes. We get, we get all lost that. lost a tons of games. Yes, exactly. He's lost, he's lost games. He's lost, you know, money when he doesn't win the games. He's lost money when he gets robbed. Like, hopefully that doesn't happen anymore. I don't know if that ever happened. Where don't quote him. But I'm, I'm just saying, yes, he loses, but he never loses prime time. He never loses when it counts. And he's just that man. Not that Usain Bolt does lose when it counts. I'm just saying, like, there is no losing in Michael Jordan. Like, I mean, like, well, I just think. I mean, there is. Michael Jordan lost a bunch before he got to the finals. He never lost, but then you got to think about it. Like, Michael Jordan was dominant for so long. I think. I just think. Here's the thing. When he, I just, I can't wrap my head around facing Michael Jordan in the finals, and he's six for six. Like, we keep bringing it up, but like that, like he's six for six. He doesn't lose in the finals, and he has six MVPs. He literally does. Like I'm just trying to fathom. He has six final, six rings. Like just take a moment. So every okay, and no, okay. Here's this, right? Here's a good way. To I'm just ready. Like so I'm you're, just, you're ready. I'm just ready. Are you ready? Okay, so he has six rings, and so every time he, he's gone to the finals, he has won. Every time he's gone to the finals, he's also won finals MVP. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's like, well, I was- He gets a yeah. ring and a finals MVP every every time he went and goes to the finals. And it seems like it's making you mad. It seems it's like- coming it's, from a place of passion. It's though. passion. This is, no, this is passion. That's not mad. Madness because- You're, I It's mean, excitement. It's excitement. I mean, it is kind of madness that he won It's survived, madness. But, but in a good way. Yes. In a good way. Um, no, but like I was thinking about it, it's like- if you, if you hear all the time, you always won six finals, but really think about it. Really think about what it takes to get to one final. And what, it, what does it take to get to it, one like, final get and to one win final? the final what is and it, get okay. the final? Steph Curry just won his first finals MVP in 2022. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. 
That he has one Finals MVP. Steph Curry, one. arguably no, the greatest, the greatest shooter, shooter of all time, time. Yes, has one higher. Finals yeah. MVP. Michael Jordan has six times that. What are we even talking about? What are we even talking like, about? People want to describe Giannis as the top ten. People wanted to say that Giannis is the top ten player after really? the season. Get out of here. What you're out of town. But but Giannis, I'll, I'll, first of all, is nowhere near. Um, sure. The player is Michael Jordan. Yeah, well, other players, yeah. but the player is Michael Jordan. But he also, like, it's just not even close. Like, he, people jump the gun. What I'm saying is they jump the gun. They did. They jump the gun. Michael they Jordan has here. proven himself to be a cannon. They went from here is what I'm saying. to, like, here. With they no, went from here to here there. with nothing in the middle. They went around. Yeah, but... but Michael Jordan has literally taken over everything, and it's just, it just, it's everything. It's everywhere. So it's insane. Everything in the world at once. Mm, I want to see it. I want to see Nicole, it. I mean, I just want to see it. I just want to see it. I'm saying. Okay. That has been. So I think, yeah, I mean. That has been our main points. <laughs> that has been our main points. Now, would we like to add anything? I would like to add that Usain Bolt is quite the competitor. He, he is. is quite the runner. And the thing is, I just, the thing is we, I just can't get, I just think that, well, for one, Michael Jordan is more popular than Usain Bolt, even though Usain Bolt is, obviously, everyone knows him. Yeah. I'm just saying, in general, Michael Jordan is a billion dollar brand. Yeah, Michael, Michael, more people know Michael Jordan than they know Usain Bolt, and that's not to say, like, nobody knows Usain Bolt. Yeah. I'm just saying. And I think that's a reflection, though, of his dominance on the court. I think so, too. I think it's a reflection of dominance on the court. But the thing is, you can't use that argument to say that, like, like... That doesn't mean that Usain Bolt is yeah, the greatest. Of course, of course. Usain Bolt is the greatest runner of all time. Of course, no, no, I mean, no. Like, I'm just making. I'm just at this point. I'm just bursting. Greatest sprinter, I should say. I mean, well, when, like basically, dash, like Usain Bolt. I'm just like, I, I don't know what it would take for me to say Usain Bolt is more dominant because yeah. yes, he well, wins. Yes, he wins. He has the world record, bro. He has the world record. Like. He win. I mean, well, that's that where like he has like the top thirty oh, times yeah. of all time, like yeah. the top thirty. Um, so I mean, it is. It is really hard. Yeah. I don't think there's a right if for this matchup. I really don't think there's a right and wrong answer. I don't. Yeah. There's no let right answer. Be, let that be known that we share that ideal ideology. I think that's true. So, yeah. But I mean, it just when I think about what it takes to get to a finals. Yes. And what it takes to win finals MVP and all the defensive all the defensive abilities of Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. I Ten just. Times he is all defensive team. I think he is the face. For defensive player of the year. Right here. He is. Yeah. He's the. He's just the definition of a of a, a success, of just the successful basketball player. Yeah. Uh, the most successful basketball player of all time. Same thing with Usain. You can both point to really, both ways. Yeah, but exactly. I think that's I'm exactly gonna, what we were trying to say. Is that so you can go both tough. ways, but and we want to let we want to let everyone know that we. And, and if you say, if you're watching, and we know that you are, we know that you are. Oh, we're sorry. We're sorry we're that not, we're not picking you. Yeah, we're not sorry, but we're, we're we want to let you know I'm that a little, I'm a little sorry for I'm saying. I want I want to make sure he knows that he's loved. Okay, yeah, I I don't want to make sure he's no, he knows he's loved too. Yep. And if you're watching him, know that you are you are loved. You're saying, but you're literally. I also it. want to point out that we are. I I don't want. I mean, I don't want you to think that we're not highlighting all your great abilities, because yes. We want to point those out, and we want to make it known that you are one of the best com- sports competitors of all time. Yes. And this has just gotten way more intimate than I thought it would be. So, but I love it. I'm here so for it. No, I'm here for it. It's I'm a no judge zone, zone, and I'm here for I'm it. I'm here for it. I'm and literally Usain, sitting here, and I'm here for you're it. You're here for it, and you saying we respect you. We adore you. We adore you. Michael Jordan. Oh, should we check the polls? I think we should. I mean, this is what it comes down to. I think this is when it comes. I think this is when and where we should check the polls. Right now, right here. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, we're gonna take the poll. We're gonna take the poll. Literally right now. All right, the first ever Gauntlet Guys Brackle match duel. Final matchup. And we're gonna check it right now. Drum roll for the first ever winner. Woo! Woo! Look at Jordan pulls it out. Let's go! By <laughs> one vote. One vote, baby. One vote. So close. <laughs> the matchup is. One Three vote. votes to two votes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Give it to me. Let's go. You say Paul loses. He loses, but Michael Jordan in 
the people's minds, yep. is deemed as the most dominant sports predator of all time. Of all time, number of one. All time. Michael Jordan. Oh, that wraps it up for the that championship. Wraps it up. Michael Jordan Michael takes Jordan it. Michael Jordan takes it. Did he have the most dominant did, sports competitor of all time? Did we have any doubts, though? I mean, honestly, honestly, I could have seen this from the beginning, I will say. Wait, I could have seen it from the beginning, but also, I get, I, Mike, Wayne Gretzky out in the first round. Tom, Tom Brady, Brady out to LeBron James. Um, we had some crazy upsets. I mean, um, Mike Tyson made it further than I thought. You say bold, uh, Michael, uh, beat Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps, uh, incredible. Much love to him. I mean, he's one of my favorite competitors of all time. Just in the ray, he has, he has, his he mental. Has, I think he is his, the best just, of all time. His um, his uh, just like Unless, everything he, he like he swims for. I was gonna say stands for, but like everything he swims for. Oh, okay. if you know what I mean. Gotcha. Um, I think Usain. Yeah. And quite I mean, Usain and Simone Biles and um, yeah, Mike Phelps. Phelps. I mean, those are all yeah. the best Olympians of all time. So we gotta give respect. That was, to that was, give that respect was a fun to bracket, though. That was a great bracket. All right, but it's it's been a bracket. It's been a bracket. It's been a bracket. And here's what we're gonna do. We have so many different categories. For so going, many, so many different brackets for going forward. For going forward, we have so many different brackets. On the next episode, it's gonna be a whole new bracket. But before we even, do, before we even begin, talk about it, we're gonna pick it and go right from there on that episode. We're gonna pick the bracket. We're gonna have so many categories. In the beginning of the episode, we're gonna pick a category. We're gonna pick it out, literally. Cat, yeah, we're, out gonna of go, hat. we're gonna go 1800 style out of a hat, out of on a piece hat. of paper, out of a hat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the pick the category, whatever category we pick, randomly of course. I of course, closed, um, fold it up. I suppose fold it up behind the back, if you will. If I will, and I think I will. Where is it? It's it. Where is it? So yeah, we're gonna pick the, and then we're just gonna do. I was dancing. So you were you were dancing. Okay. And you were getting Libby dancing. And I'm no trying, one dances, I'm trying to, I guess. I'm trying to go to I'm trying to go to Brazil. Okay. I'm trying to go to, like dance to the stars or dance with the stars or what? I mean, just down, but like I feel like Brazil would be better. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Brazil, here we come. Anyway, so what category. we're gonna do is category. Yeah, so we're gonna pick it, pick um, pick a category, and whatever category we pick, we're gonna start with that bracket right then and right there in our next episode. And then we're gonna get going. New sixteen, baby. Let's go. So once again, congratulations to Michael Jordan for being Thank the most dominant. Thank you, one for participating. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, we want to say you're the most dominant sports competitor of all time. The people have spoken. Once again, Gauntlet Guys Pod on Instagram for live polls yes, always. Spotify. Yes. And Twitter. Yes. And um, yeah, so great to be back with the Gauntlet. Great Pleasure to be, to be back with you. Pleasure to be back with you. There, these are intense matchups, and we're going to keep it going with the next bracket. But well, that's it. We'll be seeing you. We'll be seeing you.